Welcome to another video. This one is a bit out of my normal niche and I just wanted to emphasize that this was not sponsored by steers. This was simply me steering it. Okay, so it was a Friday afternoon and I got really angry and I thought to myself, let me order a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things that I can freeze for later and share it with you. don't know what this is exactly it is uh... oh crispy onion bits and cheese chips to fries oh. guys if ever you buy steers chips really do consider getting the crispy onion bits <laughs> it's really good mm. get it whole <laughs> This is the crap. This is the. This is the. Mm. There's just no chips like a steers chip. Well, no chips I know. Like a steers chip with cheese and onion bits on. Crispy onion. Mm. Mm -mm. Got what thing or whatever. Okay, it wasn't a scooter, it fell over a bit. I can live with that. Let's see if it can be picked up. It can, with difficulty. Let's see if it can be bitten. If I can take a bite. And so whatever this is, it is very juicy. It's got two pieces of really good quality chicken in it as patties it's not like those minced chicken bits that turn into a nugget this is actually chicken meat like in breast which is good I think they put all the salt and stuff and forks all in one bag the next one says original If I'm not mistaken, there was the, I don't know if it's original steers. Oh, that was a classic and the original. So this is the original steers burger. In the box it looks like this. If you kind of reconstruct it and try to pick it up, it looks like this. It looks alright. Mm. It tastes real good. It does. It's good. I'm with it. Okay. This out. So it looks like we finally got to the steak burger. Not a patty. It's a piece of steak. It is a sirloin. So it should be Mr. Burger. Sir Burger. Let's taste it. Mm. It tastes a bit like a patty. Mm. Hold on. Now there's some evidence that it is real sirloin. It is very tender, it is very good. Next up we have the salad. I'm not gonna taste or eat that now. They did promise olives and um, there are two olives in it. Yeah, so that's all good plants and that's it. Here we have a medium cheese something. I don't know what it is, it's in an hamburger box. And so let's see. Oh, it came with another order. It is chips, but only with the cheese. Mm. It was included in a deal. And so um, I couldn't not take it. It's good. It's like 
a lot of cheese spread over chips. Processed cheese, not real cheese. It's tasty. It's creamy. Okay, next. I'm not quite sure what is up with this. I get three forks. One is sealed and the other two are not. I'm not sure what's the dealio. Anyway, let's unbox this. Ooh, ribs. More chips. And ribs. I'm definitely going to taste that rib to let you know. Mm. It looks good. Oh, mama, this is good. Mmm, it's good. It's worth it. Okay, that goes away. Next. This is a veggie burger. Now, the veggie burger is not the same as the beef-like burger. The veggie burger is vegetarian. The beef-like burger is 10 bucks more. It's also a vegan burger, which this one is not. Like in all fairness, don't you think that uh, a veggie burger can be more juicy? This is almost like a... Oh, screw you vegetarians, whatever, there's a burger, stuff it in your mouth and shut up. This is like an insult. It's dry, no sauce. It tastes mediocre. If it had any sort of a sauce on, it would have been great. Now, there are a million vegetarian sauces they could have used. It's okay. It's not bad. I don't hate it. But it really could have been better compared to the others. So this is the Panda Burger. It's all the noise and all the eat about it. It's like the hottest thing right now. Popular. So let's see what is different about the Panda Burger. There's mayonnaise and barbecue or something. Let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. These sauces work well. They do. Okay, next. Okay, did I say what this is? Is this original? Didn't we have an original before? Maybe this is the chicken one. It doesn't look like chicken to me. The other one must have been a classic. And this is original. It's not bad. But the Steers one was better than the this one, the classic. And we have a ribster. Now I already know the ribs are good in one piece. I love it when I've got this mustard sauce in. It just works. It's pretty thin when I lift it up and it's light. But it is very juicy and that I like. tastes great I think they could have cooked it a little bit more but it's good this one says chicken it doesn't tell me what chicken it just says chicken sorry I'm one handing it here looks okay Honestly, whichever one this is, it is boring. Get one of the others instead of this one. Oops, you somehow went into time lapse. This is a mushroom burger. I don't think I've ever seen or had a mushroom patty. So let's check it. On the eye, it looks neglected like the veggie burger, as in like, screw you, don't meat eaters. You're not getting any sauce. So let's taste it. I'm not really big on mushrooms. Mm, I don't hate it, but it lacks a lot of taste and flavor. Honestly, it doesn't taste like much. Rather go for the veggie burger. Or the vegan. 
There's one more bag. I'm gonna die. Oh, my cat agrees. Let's fluff this bunny. Ooh, this is an interesting thing. It's a bear beef. And there's no bread. It's supposed to be the whole burger between two meat patties. This is a good looking burger, I must say. Can I pick it up? It is messy for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Which is good. I think they found the Banting burger. They said they could not make the bear burger in chicken. I still don't understand because I've had different various chicken patties already. I don't understand, but anyway. I did tell her I will note it, so now it's noted. I'm dying. Okay, chicken stall. This is a vegetarian burger. That is chicken stall. It's much more juicier than the other ones, I must say. Than the vegan, the veggie, or the mushroom. This one looks the best so far. Mm. It also tastes the best of the three. Go for this one. Oh, looks like they did make me a bad chicken one after they said they couldn't. Maybe. Okay. They didn't have the round chicken. But she made it for me with the whatever chicken they used. Thank you, lady. Mmm. It's good. Beef style. This is a vegetarian burger. I mean the vegan one. The difference between the veggie and the vegan is that this one is beef style. I thought I had it already. No, I didn't. Mm. I had the meat, I had the mushroom. They were pathetic. The chicken was better. This one looks neglected too. So let's try it. I don't know. That's probably what a vegan burger is supposed to taste like. So for a vegan burger, it's probably good. But I won't really know for sure. The end is in sight. I don't think I'm going to eat again today or tomorrow. So this one says chicken. I don't know what BM is, can't remember, and cheese. Oh, bacon. Oh, it's a chicken bacon one. I think. Oh yeah, there's bacon. Let's see if we can find the chicken. Mm-hmm. There's chicken. This one is very good if you don't feel like having beef. I'd recommend it. Okay, here's just a little bit of chips, which I really don't need to taste. I had better ones, flavored ones, and plain ones already. So chicken. This is so tasty, you have no idea. Really. Mm. Tasty. But that's me, done. Now time to pack away all of this. Giant mountain of food. <clears throat> so guess what I'm going to be eating for the next week or so. There you go. Anything on the menu. Thousand bucks worth of steers food. Rate it. Ah, my mouth on fire. This last one is hot. I may as well finish it properly and have some salad. Okay, this is fresh. Uh -huh. Cheese is always good. Tomato fresh. Cucumber crispy fresh. Yellow paper. It's okay. 
Tá lindo. Ops, tá bem. Tá bem bom. Let's everything now. Ah. Ow. Just don't try this at home unsupervised. Whew. Here we have a ridiculously thick shake, shake with a ridiculously big hole. It comes with a ridiculously thick straw look. It's almost the size of my little finger. And it's tasted. It is ridiculously vanilla -y. Like, well, not ridiculously, but very much. And nice. But this is a sorbet. And it's far away from full cream anything. It's tasty. And it's like 30 degrees here, so it is, it's welcome. Okay, my bad. So I put instant coffee in and to shake it around. It was vanilla, so I wanted coffee flavor. It's a bit like a Franken shake, but only coffee and vanilla. <laughs> Sophia will be proud of me. Okay, let's carry on. Is this ridiculously thick? Yes, it is. If you consider the size of a straw. And you really have to put some hoover in there and suck to get the stuff out. So it is pretty thick. It is like ice cream that is a little bit melted and then mixed spinned or something. Mostly ice cream. But it's good. Those sorbet, not full cream. And the next thing is just a plain ice cream. I didn't see no spoon or anything but it's got like the cap same cap as the other one to put a straw in but somehow I can't see how I'm gonna suck ice cream I seriously eating this like it is a cone it doesn't taste the same as a milkshake I'm sure this is a different kind of ice cream because this really tastes creamier than the super thick ridiculously thick shake well, that's the end of that. If you're not hungry by now, you might be broken.